Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2 and I'm out here in the garage and man have I spent a lot of time tonight trying to film a video on the HK P30SK Variant 1 with the LEM trigger in it and I finally got done with it. In fact, I need to like unmic myself because I am finally done. It took me a good hour and a half to film the little segments of this range report. Sometimes when I get out here, I can get on a roll and just go with it. And I will literally film everything in one take. And then sometimes tonight, or like, or like it is tonight, oh my gosh, I, I probably took a total of like 40 takes to get like five things done. I'll start something, I'll say something stupid, I'll say something the wrong way, use the wrong word, stutter, forget what I'm going to say. And I realize when I say it, I can't splice it in. So, oh, man, it's been one of those frustrating nights. I literally just got done with it. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting range report on this gun. I also brought out my personal P30SK. And this is the Variant 3, which has the safety on it and the decocker in the back. So this is a standard double-action, single-action version. And I love this gun. And this one was okay. Accuracy was not very good with it. But I will say, I definitely prefer the balanced look of this one. For some reason, I really like the safety on the side of these guns. I think it just looks right. I know some people are going to say, safety shouldn't be on carry guns. But I like the manual safety, uh, just personally. Uh, I know some people just like these with the decocker, if it's double action, single action. And these are so different than other HK pistols because, you know, with the USP line, you have your safety and decocker all built into the same lever. Here, you don't. I don't know why they did it differently. You have the decocker on the back and the safety on the side. But, yeah, it's kind of a two-part thing, and it's different than all of the other pistols in the HK lineup. This one works good and even when it comes to the decocker on this one though i don't like the decocker on the back i still prefer it on the ledge there's something weird about taking my thumb and putting it back here next to the hammer i know it's not going to drop the hammer and you do still have that firing pin safety but for me it's an okay design it's an okay gun but it is what it is uh, but as i said i'm just a little bit frustrated out here and uh, so it's kind of late because I started filming at like 7.30 and right now it is, with all the breaks I took, it's 9.15. <sighs> Gosh, I don't know. I, I had so many, so many problems filming this. Um, it's not the gun, it's, it's more me. Sometimes I get in my head when I'm filming and then once the frustration kind of builds in, I make a mistake I get frustrated, I stop, I do it again, and I make the same mistake over, and then it just kind of, um, it's like a, a snowball going downhill. It just kind of builds and builds and builds and builds, and uh, I don't know. So hopefully, I'll be able to go inside and splice enough of that together to make it seem uh, coherent. In fact, tonight, uh, the biggest one of the biggest blunders I kept making was with my little Brownworks ad. Oh, man, it took me like 15 times to get that thing right. Oh, man, I don't know why. It's, I don't know, the frustration of running a YouTube channel. And it's why I say that sometimes people don't understand the time and energy you put into these videos uh, because people think it's just the way that it's edited is just the way that you film it. Like, like literally, if it's a 20-minute range report, it only took me 20 minutes to make. And that's not the way it is. Uh, it's a lot of editing. It's a lot of takes. It's a lot of splicing stuff together, writing a bullet point script, um, that kind of thing. And it can get frustrating. It can get real frustrating. And sometimes it flows great, and then sometimes it doesn't. And tonight was one of those nights that it just didn't flow great. But I have to, I have to work through it because I'm so busy that I can't always film every single night. And to keep up with content on a night like tonight, which I have... A lot of free time I have to maximize my time I have to be out here doing this because if I put it off until another day this week well I got rehearsals I got teaching I got family stuff I won't be able to do it I have to do it tonight so I'll probably go inside now and I'll be editing until like 10 30 tonight 10 45 tonight and then um, 
go to bed and wake up early and go back to work. So anyway, I guess it's just kind of a frustrating video tonight. I'm going to put this in the category of behind the scenes. So you guys get to see frustrated Jason from the Texas Gun Vault. Not in a bad way. It's just when you're doing this, it's like a performance, you know, and sometimes your performance isn't going to be stellar. And luckily I can redo things. It just takes time. You know, I got to do it over and over and over again. So uh, anyway, just wanted to come to you. And I'm sorry that I haven't made a lot of Texas Gun Vault 2 content the past couple of days. But as you saw from my last video, uh, I've just been playing music. I've been so busy. I've had concerts and all that kind of stuff. So I also got to clean up out, out, out here. Uh, got my bullet point script. Uh, I think I'll kind of show you, as I said, because we're doing a behind the scenes, I'll kind of show you what uh, what it kind of looks like. And it's kind of funny because when I edit the range footage, I try to put my thoughts together and kind of put together a basic order. So in each one of the segments, I know what I'm going to talk about. And so I always start off with good intentions, and I'll show you here. So as you can see, my handwriting is terrible, but it's actually relatively legible here at, at the top. And I kind of write out what generally I'm going to say. And then as I get more and more tired, I become more and more sloppy. And by the time I get to the end of the third page, I bet most of you guys can't even read that. Oh, look at that. You even get, you even get, 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 I get to see the star rating that I put on this review. This is a true behind the scenes. But yeah, so I can read that. I know most, most people can't. But I always start off. It's so funny. I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going to make this this bullet point script legible for myself. And I always start off really good. And then it gets worse and worse and worse. And I'm trying to get through it. And then it just turns into slop. <laughs> Man. So somebody actually asked me once if they could have one of these. I was like, you don't want to have that after I give us like a, a video that they liked or whatever. They're like, do you have the bullet points point script for that? Can I like... Can you autograph? It's still weird when people have asked me to autograph things. And yes, people have asked me to autograph. It's I, what, whatever. But yeah, so <laughs> no, you, you, you can't have this. That, that's a weird. This, this will just go into the trash bin. And man, I hope I'm able to edit everything because ugh, I don't want to come out here and, and uh, refilm anything and have to dig that out of the, out of the trash can now <laughs> and see what I had to say about it. Normally, I don't crush it until I'm done with the editing. But I think I got it. I think I got it. So anyway, uh, that's it from tonight. A frustrated Jason from the Texas Gun Vault. And man, this thing took me a while. But I got to go inside and get editing. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I wanted to make some type of Texas Gun Vault 2 material. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, I hope you guys like these little behind-the-scenes um, videos occasionally. I uh, don't really have anything else to talk about, but just kind of show you the inner workings of the Texas Gun Vault and what goes into making content. So that's it. So, as always... Oh, wait, I forgot the word of the day. Yes, I'm that tired. I always forget the word of the day. The word of the day is going to be... What can the word of the day be? Uh, day be? Okay, i tell you what it's going to be. It's not going to be necessarily a word. It's going to be two letters. Because I've reviewed an HK. It's going to be HK for Heckler and Coke. HK is the word of the day. So use that in your comment. I know you made it to the end. So now, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>